My name's Charles Christian, I'm the editor of an industry newsletter called Legal IT Insider and I'm also the co-producer of LawTech Futures, the event where this is taking place today. More and more law firms, they're realising that actually having a cloud service is no different to having a server in another office down the road. It's not physically here, but the service is still here. My number one tip would be to ensure that your cloud service services provider understands the legal sector. My name is Charles Stringer. I head up the IT function at Keystone Law. My top tip for cloud computing in the legal sector is that uh, I think it's very important to remember that not all cloud companies are the same. It's very easy now for firms to set up as a cloud company uh, and it's important for people to look under the bonnet and see exactly what they're getting. My name is Julian Jackson, I'm a Divisional Director at Eno.net. My top tip for law firms looking to move to the cloud would be do your homework. Look at your vendor's experience, look at their track record, look at their relationship with vendors, look at their financials. I'm Eric Hunter, Director of Knowledge Strategy at Bradford & Barthel. Top tips for cloud competing in the legal sector. To sum up the first one is to look before you leap. We uh, took that leap a few years ago with Google Apps. We migrated the firm over and there's been incredible efficiency savings. I'm Colin McArdle. I'm from Kindleworth. I think in the legal sector, one of the most important aspects is uh, reputation and referenceability. Uh, you need a provider who has got a solid track record of hosting legal applications. For smaller firms, it brings obvious uh, cost benefits. It's cheaper to host in the cloud than it is uh, on site and I think then as well for smaller firms the IT director or, or IT manager role it will allow them to become more strategic. My name's Roland Johnson, uh, I'm the chief exec and founder of Netitude. I think my top tip on how cloud computing will help the legal sector is really all about collaboration, giving the people the ability to work on whatever device they like from wherever they want to work. I'm Ray Kurzweil, uh, I have the title director of engineering, I'm heading up a group at Google to enable the Google computers to understand natural language. I think the future of law is very bright because uh, we need to organize knowledge and have uh, rules for how we access it and uh, that's going to become more and more important. My name is Teresa Snayman. I'm head of IT at Kingsley Napoli LLP. My top tip for cloud computing, um, particularly for the legal sector, but I think it applies everywhere, is be very aware of security issues. For the legal sector specifically, be very aware of jurisdictional issues. And finally, do your financial due diligence. My name is Graham Lawrence. I'm head of IT at DMH Stallard, a legal firm of over 200 staff. My top tip for cloud computing in the legal sector is, is pretty simple. It's about secure and flexible IT as and when you require it. I'm Eric Sisi, I'm Vice President at McAfee. I'm responsible for customer service uh, technical support uh, for EMEA. You may actually be forced to use the cloud eventually by third parties, whether it's to file cases or to submit information or to participate in activities such as e-discovery in the United States and therefore you will have no choice but to consider cloud as a solution. So it's better to embark on the bag wagon today and see where cloud can actually help you. My name's Andy Powell, I'm Head of Training for Shortel in Europe. I think cloud computing or cloud-based communications are going that you, you'll be able to select what you want in terms of communications. You know, some people would like a contact center, some people would like to manage their mobile devices out of the cloud. It could be something even as, uh, as obscure as translation. Send an email and it comes back uh, in a different language or uh, send a voicemail and it comes back in a different language. That would be very, very powerful. If you look at the trends for power of computation, communication, the power of the cloud, you can see where it will be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. Make your plans appropriate for where the world will be uh, at those points in time. My top tip for legal computing in the cloud is simple, go for it.